Live look at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, where the top gymnasts in the country are here tonight preparing for this weekend's P&G National Championships. In fact, our own Anne-Marie Tiernan is back from practice at Bankers Life Fieldhouse, where the athletes are getting very familiar with that venue. And That's right. Well, this is a really key time. The competition starts tomorrow. We are a year out from the Olympics. And before that, there are the World Championships. There are 120,000 athletes competing in gymnastics all across the country. And right now, that funnel is narrowing down to who will be just the top five. A gymnastic podium practice is very much like the real competition. The ladies run through routines on four apparatus simultaneously. And this year, there are several stars to see with a lot at stake. Part of being Rio ready is showing it here that you're Rio ready. And when you have three returning Olympians, a two-time reigning world champion, and a bunch of others that want in, it's going to be a dogfight. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch, but it's going to be a dogfight. The front runner is Simone Biles, the two-time world champion. She's hoping to win her third straight national title here. It's a streak that was last claimed 23 years ago. Still, Biles has struggles, even confessing to a few tears after running through her routine on the beam. Usually I'm actually really confident on beam, but it's just like it only takes one fall to have all your confidence fall, so that really sucks. But. I mean, hopefully, I'll get it together. The three former Olympians are the veterans. What they also know, though, is that they have to do more than they did in 2012. They can't be as good as they were in 2012. That's not good enough. Because you look at what Simone's doing, and Simone's up here now. It's, it's tough. I mean, it's a, it's a tough hill to climb. The reigning Olympic champion, Gabby Douglas, is a fan favorite. I have more. I have more. And I'm so excited to show you guys. And she's working to keep connected to an audience outside the gym with a new docu-series. A reality show crew is following her comeback and plans to air the episodes in the second quarter of next year, right before the Rio Games in August. Everyone's like, oh, don't let it distract you. Oh, no, no. But it's not. Literally, my goal is Rio. My goal is 2015 championships, coming out here and doing my best. And I, you know, it's, it's not really going to distract me. And honestly, they're, you know, not in your face 24-7 as people would imagine. Other athletes to watch, Kyla Ross, part of the squad which won Team Gold in London along with Ali Raisman. Also, there are newcomers. Marta Caroli will pick just five and she has 11 months to decide starting now. If you don't have a ticket, NBC and Universal Sports are providing live coverage of the women's and the men's competition tomorrow through Sunday. We have put all the program schedules for you on our website at WTHR.com. Also, when you're online, why don't you enter to win five VIP tickets? That will take you to the women's finals on Saturday night, and you can also meet the gymnasts. To enter, just click on the image on our homepage, and we will announce two winners on Friday morning.